Hello, my name is Jacob Avila of Core Ultrasound, and in this five-minute Sono video, I'm going to talk to you about ultrasound artifacts, starting with part one, in which we're going to discuss acoustic shadowing, acoustic enhancement, and edge artifacts. Let's start off with acoustic shadowing. So this is what shadowing is. Basically, everything deep to a specific thing has a complete blackout. You can see next to it, but you just can't see completely deep to it. And that usually occurs because either the thing that is causing the shadowing absorbs all the sound waves or it reflects everything away so the ultrasound machine can't see deep to it. Let's talk about the most common example that I see of shadowing, that is gallstones. We have a gallbladder here, it's got a thickened wall, and we're seeing a bunch of gallstones in it. And notice deep to these hypercoke stones, we're seeing a black dropout of signal. This is called shadowing. Now I will tell you there are two different kinds of shadowing. You'll get this what I call clean shadow, deep to gallstones, kidney stones, bones even. And you'll also get a different type of shadow called a dirty shadow. Dirty shadowing occurs whenever you have something that is air filled or has air in it. You're gonna see this gray shadow deep to it. And the reason it's gray instead of black is just the way that sound waves are scattered by air. Notice you still can't see deep to it, so it's still a type of shadow, but this is an air artifact. This right here is a stones or bones artifact. I'm gonna take a brief pause here just to let you know that all of our content is on the coreultrasound.com website. That is Ultrasound Podcast, 5 Minutes Sono, Ultrasound of the Week, Clip Bank, and we also have our courses page where we have the Core Ultrasound Fundamentals and Core Ultrasound Question Bank where you have 3,200 questions with feedback, including narrated videos explaining the question. Check it out and back to your video. Here is a clinical scenario in which identifying the dirty shadow is important. Over here, we have some soft tissue that has a little bit of edema through it. And if we look over here, we're seeing little hyperechoic flecks with shadowing deep to it, this gray shadowing. This is a necrotizing soft tissue infection. The next artifact I want to talk about is basically the opposite of shadowing. It's a posterior acoustic enhancement. And what happens here is you'll have something that is fluid filled and everything deep to the fluid filled structure will appear brighter than everything next to it. This has to do with basically the machine artificially boosting the signal as you go deeper. So let's say that there's an ultrasound machine that has no signal boosting software and you're going to get this kind of image. The software on the ultrasound machines is actually going to boost that signal. So instead of looking like what you see on the left, it's going to look like what you see on the right. So the ultrasound machine assumes that everything needs to be enhanced uniformly. If you get a fluid filled structure, that is a thing that does not absorb any sound waves whatsoever, you're gonna have no attenuation for the distance of that fluid filled structure right there. So remember the ultrasound machine is just artificially boosting everything along this line equally. And since it's getting no attenuation deep to it, this is gonna appear brighter because it's boosting a signal that doesn't really need to be boosted on this side. Here's an example of a hepatic cyst. And if you look deep to that hepatic cyst right here, you notice that deep to it, it's much brighter than right next to it. In real life, this is no different. It's just this thing is making the sound pass through this region without any attenuation whatsoever. So this is gonna appear brighter due to the boosting signaling software. And then over here, we do have attenuation. So everything deep to it's gonna be a little bit darker. This is an artifact that we see deep to fluid filled structures. The next artifact is something called an edge artifact. We're gonna see that on the edges of any kind of a curved cystic structure, usually when they're a bit fluid filled. So what's happening here is the sound waves are coming down and some of them are slicing through here and other of them are gonna get kind of like caught in the wall and curve just a little bit and go down here. And what happens is there's gonna be a section where the ultrasound machine isn't gonna get any signal back from, and that is that edge artifact. Here is an example coming off of the end of a kidney. So we'll freeze it right about here. Let's rewind just a little bit right here. Notice that on the edge of this kidney right here, we're seeing artifacts, so we're seeing some blackness deep to it, when in fact, all that's happening is you're having an edge artifact. 
in this clip, we actually see all three artifacts. It's pretty sweet. This is a bladder in the transverse orientation with a Foley bulb in it. We are seeing posterior acoustic enhancement. You see how it's super bright over here? This is because of the urine in the bladder causing no attenuation of that sound or minimal attenuation in any case and causing there to be what appears to be brightness over here. This Foley bulb over here is actually attenuating the sound just a little bit and that's why it's darker over here. Right here, you see how it's a bit darker right here, right on the edge of the bladder. This is an edge artifact, this kind of blackness that we're seeing over here and to a more dramatic degree over on this side. So we have edge artifact, posterior acoustic enhancement and a bit of shadowing from this Foley bulb. So you can see all three artifacts in one. That's it for this five minute Sono video. Please watch part two where you learn about reverberation artifacts such as B lines, A lines, and what we call the mirror artifact.